You're watching Channel 11, WPXI-TV Pittsburgh, the station with more news, more often. Pittsburgh shines in the spotlight of the sports world as the finest ball players slug it out at Three River Stadium. Now, Channel 11 News Nightbeat. Good evening, I'm Peggy Finnegan. The stars are shining tonight for an all-star night in the Berg. Oh, say can you see my Rock star Meatloaf kicked off the game with a rousing rendition of the national anthem. Then it was balloons, fireworks, and baseball. Well, the city didn't miss the opportunity to shine for the rest of the nation. It was light-up night in the Golden Triangle, and overhead, special glimpse made the picture perfect. Of course, the downtown Pittsburgh area, not only the, not the only thing lit up, the roads were lit up, too, with traffic. The line of cars out of Three River Stadium stretched for miles. Our Chris Long has been down at Three River Stadium taking in the sights and sounds of the rare celebration. Chris, how you doing? Peggy, I'm doing great, and I'm telling you, that was some kind of baseball game. Extra innings in the All-Star game. What more can you ask for? Numbers, let's start off with 59,568. That is officially, we are told, the largest crowd to ever see a baseball game in the city of Pittsburgh. Capacity crowd tonight. Of course, the National League had lost six games in a row. That number is obliterated. They have now ended that streak. And an amazing statistic, I thought, extra inning games in the history of the All-Star game. Tonight was the ninth. The National League has won all nine extra inning baseball games. How about that? The crowd is filing out, but it has been a wonderful, wonderful night. The game lasting a little over three hours, of course, and the final score, eight to seven. Not everyone, of course, fortunate enough, if you will, to get inside Three Rivers, but some folks did not let that stop them from taking part in the fun. And one of those on the outside looking in, but probably a very good seat out there, is our own Margaret Shortridge. <laughs> Margaret, how did those folks without tickets get by? Well, Chris, most of us survived out here while you were inside enjoying yourself. Actually, I am one of hundreds of people who did not go inside Three Rivers tonight, but considered themselves to be here at the game. Some of those folks did it because they wanted to. Others did it because they couldn't get tickets. Me too. We're going to go for like $1,000, man. Front row. Front row. $1,000. You know what? Clark Farms is right in front well, I think uh, if I wait long enough that uh, maybe uh, fortune will, uh, will smile on us, but that's, uh, that may be dubious. A lot of folks came looking for tickets. Some were able to get them, others were not. But then there was just a whole bunch of other people who came just to sort of hang out and absorb all the festivities and the fanfare surrounding the All-Star Game. Then there were others who came, but you know what? They had to work. I'm used to it. I, uh, I miss all the holidays. Uh. Uh, the 4th of July, uh, just recently in the city, uh, sort of comes with the job. I think I wish I was inside, uh, listening to the roar of the crowd, you know. But I'm driving a carriage limousine, so it ain't too bad, you know. Luxury, watching the game inside the, t uh, the car. And you know what? He did watch the game from inside the car. He had a really comfortable...